Hey everyone, I hope your day is going great and we might make it a little bit brighter with this bright orange. It's a Hugger Orange 70C10. My name is Mackenzie. I'm going to be showing you around this thing in just a brief second. We're going to go for a drive. We're going to pop it all open, fire it up, play with the lights, the bells, the whistles. This is a hot truck. Let's dive right in. We're going to kick it off at the front end unique to the 1970 look at this beautiful grill i love it all the chrome looks fabulous um, one thing about the 70 the earlier years had the turn indicators down in the bumper this one moved up there a nice kind of flush clean look and these ones are blacked out a little bit helping them blend right in now these headlamps i just mentioned holly just bought up some company they're buying everybody these are led lamps but they're not that goofy halo thing they look like factory they shine really bright at night that is a cool upgrade and i was pretty geeked when i saw those in there we got the bow tie on the brow of the hood we're gonna lift this up get our mitts down in here that's how you do it right there yes baby so we have the factory l47 396 this is a factory high tunnel big block truck with a 12 bolt this isn't your base model this one has factory air says power disc and power steering and we even have the original power steering reservoir over here firewall looks beautiful air cleaner looks hot the valve covers look great still screaming through you know factory big block exhaust manifolds coming out through a nice dual exhaust this is pretty trick stuff <laughs> That closed up pretty effortlessly. I'm liking the gaps. Coming down the side of this truck, one, you see that's a factory two-toner with the CST rows of trim all over it. We'll get to that in a second. Check out these deep dish 20 inch wheels. These look gorgeous. Wrapped in brand new Toyo meets, these Proxy ST3s. It's a 265 4520 with the big disc brakes behind there. Gaps are great. This is all fitting very nicely. Even though it's a 396, they did badge them as 400s. Nice mirror, beautiful glass. I love how the top of the cab is painted white as well. This is just a really cool 70s look. A short bed truck, if you didn't know. And out back, we've got another 20 inch wheel, this time with like five inches of dish. This looks sweet. And we are sporting a 295 4520. Heck yeah. Trim's all secured nice and tight. Murdered out the tail lens is a bit. I love the wood grain on this tailgate trim. Speaking of wood grain, guys, that is super cool. Uh, they've done a fabulous job. I love seeing all this still having a bright polish. Now, even though this is a truck, I don't think it's been uh, worked as a truck all too much lately. It's been living an easy life. Bedside, straight as can be. Big back glass with the cargo lamp. These little tie downs are cool here if you need them. Door gaps look great. Cab corners all slick. Cow mounted antenna, windshield, free of blemish. Whew. Hot truck. Oh yeah. I love the door cards on these CST trucks. Really cool design, more of that wood grain. And we're greeted by a beautiful set of high back bucket seats. Really cool covers done in leather with orange stitching to match. Dome light is working. This is a headliner truck being a CST. How about that? Nice brushed finish on the three spoke wheel. Speedo running up to 100 miles per hour. We got 34,000 on the odometer. We have a factory tech in this big block beast. Fuel gauge, oil pressure, uh, that's a, just a blank. Then we have temp and a voltmeter over on this side. We have this nice mat the upholstery shop did to match the seats, but underneath it is a mint beautiful carpet kit. So if you don't like the look of this thing, we'll pull it out over there for you. But it's keeping things protected and it's easy to clean, I'll tell you that. We have a retro sound stereo in here, or custom auto sound, I'm sorry. So this has got, what do we see, Bluetooth, aux, AM, and FM. And we do have a couple of extra speakers down in these kick panels, one on either side. Factory AC controls here, a little ashtray there. And one thing, I was very excited about. Not the owner's manual for the custom auto sound, that's great. But the original spid tag is here and undisturbed. And right on here, you're going to see L47 396. Of course, this is a high tunnel truck, being a big block, has that turbo 400 up underneath here. And we got a little bit of fold down storage here. And some more storage under here. Pretty cool. I don't know if the camera can catch it, but the uh, indicator light is on and cancels on its own. 
Air blows nice and cool. The speakers play clear. Obviously, we just picked up some static. I haven't spent any time dialing in a, a station, but that is working good. And there is blue too. The right turn indicator popping up here like it should. Sweet. We got all the gauges working here. Tack works, speedo works, amp meter right in the middle. Coolant temp is just starting to warm up, and the oil pressure is present. We like that. Now we've got uh, this transmission doing its thing here, shifting smooth. These disc brakes, power disc brakes, really stopping it on a dime. That's nice and easy. Now we'll get her up to uh, about 50, 60 miles an hour, see what this big block can do. Mm -hmm. And we're right up back behind that regular traffic here. Driven faster cars, but definitely a lot of torque. This is a uh, a truck big block. They didn't get as radical as a of a camshaft as some of the uh, the muscle cars did. Power steering feels good. Appreciate you guys making it to the end. Love C10s. People ask me, what's your personal old school car? You must have something. It's a C10. Great example. A lot of potential here too, sitting with that motor. And just a quick recap. Factory 396 loaded up car. Air, power brake, power steer. Right out of the box and it's still on the original spit tag. That's a big deal. 12 bolt car. Has a 355 Posi. She is out of Georgia. Was redone a few years ago. Brought up to Michigan. I got it from a local friend. Now, this is going to be a great truck for somebody. If you want to know anything more about it, feel free to call us up anytime. Our number is 248-714-2110. You can also look down in the description of this video. There will be a link to view the full listing. That's where our photo gallery is. That's where the underbody pictures are. Close up to that spit tag. A whole lot of breakdown of everything we know. I'll leave it there. Take Take a look around we have some other cool trucks too muscle cars whatever it may be if you're new around here make sure you subscribe so our new arrivals we get a couple every every week they'll be popping up for you right here thank you once more and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video keep on having a great day smiles all around when we're doing this bye bye